The government plans to take a more aggressive approach in tackling crime in response to the recent upsurge of gun violence this past week. Prime Minister and Minister of National Security Dr. Timothy Harris, in a televised national address on crime on Friday night, said with these increased security measures, there will be some measure of inconvenience experienced by the public. I am not at liberty to make public every initiative in the police vigorous response. However, I would advise that there will be some measure of inconvenience as the police hunt down the criminals in the pursuit of justice. Vehicle checkpoints will be par for the course. Persons should expect some delay at police checkpoints and cooperate readily with law enforcement. In anticipation of possible transportation delays, it is advised that commuters make earlier and better preparation to get to and from work. In order to assist our law enforcement officers, we should better respond to the criminal challenge. Dr. Harris said the development, peace and progress of the country must never be compromised by the actions of a few criminals. Criminals must never find comfort or protection anywhere in St. Kitts and Nevis. Everyone, indeed our families, churches, businesses and political parties have been called upon to stand firmly with the security forces as they were to make us safe and prevent further loss of life and injury to persons and property. The Prime Minister called on the public to give their fullest cooperation to the security forces during their time of increased policing. Our security forces have advised the Cabinet of their plans to vigorously defend the peace and ensure the safety of all citizens and residents. In this regard, a number of security initiatives will be pursued on a long-term sustained basis. We call on all citizens the Prime Minister and residents the public to give their fullest, to give their fullest cooperation to, to our law of enforcement police. officers as they go about their special and general operations in our crime hotspots and all other areas of concerns. The core mandate of our law enforcement officers is that of finding the criminals and bringing them swiftly to justice. Criminals must never find comfort or protection anywhere in St. Kitts and Nevis. In just the second month of the year, seven homicides have already been recorded in the Federation, six of them occurring this past week on St. Kitts. Of those six homicides, three were committed within a 24-hour span between February 13th and 14th. Police have said 10 persons were in custody assisting in investigating two shooting incidents that occurred earlier this week and which led to the death of one of the homicide victims, Eric Thompson of Ponds Pasture. Andre Huey, SKN Newsline.